So we're going to have a look at this Obspot Tiny 2 camera and really just answer a question that came up for me twice yesterday from two different people on two different support calls that are using this camera and we're struggling with it. Now we've done full reviews of this Tiny 2 and of the tail air camera that's sitting back there, how to bring it all together, use it in Ecamm, use a Stream Deck. I'll link to that right at the end. But uh, the query is firstly, someone was saying, look, how do I lock this down to stop it tracking and then the other person was saying to me we're actually on a call and they were doing something to this effect and they were going whoa I didn't want it to do that how do I take this tracking off um, so let's jump into the software both of them can be easily fixed in here and so if I bring this up to the side of me so this is the Obspot sensor that you do need to download really to be controlling this from else you've got no control over how the camera moves and operates. So maybe that's the issue. If you've just plugged this in and it works um, and, and then you're not actually realizing there's a whole software, a control panel that goes with it, uh, you're going to get this frustrating wobbling going on. So we're going to come, you've got three main tabs across here. And so if you want to know how to set this up, again, it'll be in that video that I linked to at the end, but we need to turn off tracking. So at the minute it's doing what it's been told to and it's tracking me. So I'm going to just untick normal tracking and now it won't be following me. And so I can then with this gimbal down here, there's lots of other ways of coming at it, but I'm just demonstrating this way. I would be just realigning this and um, positioning myself so I'm just moving this around to get it where I want it. Let me just come back to that scene a second. Um, yeah, probably. Maybe I'm a little bit too close there. That might be more like it. Uh, lose. Sorry. <laughs> I'll stop faffing. Right, let's come back to that. That's where I want this locked in. Now, the other issue then is the kind of hand gestures that are very clever that it will tell it to zoom in and out or start and stop recording and things. Well, that's come across to this third tab that says more. And uh, I've got some of these minimized if it looks different to you. But under gesture control, these are all options on here to turn on and off the tracking by just putting my hand up. I won't do it now. All you got to do is untick that, untick zoom, and then untick this dynamic zoom. So now as I'm holding my hand up, as I'm doing any of these gestures that a minute ago were zooming in and out, nothing is going to work. If you want to turn it back on, just go back into the software and bring it back up again. But uh, if you want to just be able to use this as a regular webcam and be able to use your hands and not be fearing that it's going to follow you or do anything else, um, there you go. There's your settings. So I hope you found that useful. As I say, we have put a whole playlist together with these cameras. So I'll link to that over here and encourage you to go and watch that. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. If you've got questions about this, fire away and you could be the star of the next show.